In this video, I will show you how to create this beautiful soft background blur to any photo that you want. All right, I will be using this photo as an example for this. I think you might use your own photo for this because you wanna create this blur on your own photo and not some example. But the steps are the same for every photo. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make sure the background is separated from our subject. So I need to make sure we need to cut out this horse here to separate it from the background. I have another video how to separate fluffy animals from background. So I will link that video up here if you wanna watch that. Or if you want to be a little bit lazy like me, you can just go to select subject and maybe this will work on your photo. So in this case, this works not perfectly, but it works to show you how to do this background. So once you have your selection, make a mask here. Now let's create a solid color here so we can see this better from the background. Pick something grayish, take the layer and drag it underneath the, the horse. Now, First thing to do is to fix this, obviously. So I'm gonna press on this mask, right mouse, select the mask. And while selecting this Refine Edge Brush tool, we can start brushing these mains here. Once you're done with brushing, press OK, and that's it. Now you can always fix these edges by using the Clone Stamp tool and just selecting this area and bringing it to the side like that. So the more precise you will do this, the better your image will look at the end. So this is actually the most important part of the whole process to make sure the background is separated perfectly from our main subject, in this case, the horse. Once you have the perfect cutout of your subject from the background, it's time to work on the background. I want to use the same background as the original one to make it look more real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the original photo again, put it behind that one. Now, if we go to filter, Camera Raw filter, we can start with blurring out the background. So your Camera Raw filter might look a little bit different if you have an older version, but you have all the same settings. So try to find the texture and bring it all the way down to a minus 100 and also the clarity, let's say around minus 40. Now the next thing what we need to do is to give it even more blur. So for the background blur, I'm going to also apply a lens blur here. Once you select lens blur, bring the radius all the way up to 100% and press OK and that's it. Now there is a little bit of a problem here. If I zoom in here, you can see we get this white glow coming around the subject that we need to get rid of. So the most easy way to do this is to just press Ctrl Command T, hold on Alt and make it a bit smaller like that. So you need to make sure you have a bit of area around it so it doesn't go all the way like there. So try to make it a bit smaller like this and we got rid of that one. Now we can see here this main also is blurred out. You can still see it. So to fix this part, I will use a clone stamp tool. So we can see the main better from the background and just clone stamp these areas. So you get rid of that part. All right, next thing you should do here is to make sure this edge isn't as hard as it is now. So for this, I'm going to select the first layer, click on apply layer mask so we can adjust the whole thing and select the blur tool and keep the strength, let's say around 70% and give it a little bit of a blur. So it matches better with the background. Now, once you have done that, click on the layer of the background, create a new layer and take a normal brush, take a color from the background, make it a bit lighter, press okay. And let's make the brush big and drop the opacity, let's say around 20%. Make sure to bring the hardness all the way down and brush a bit in the background to make this even lighter. You can just click a couple times in the background. All right, at the bottom, you need to make sure it doesn't affect it too much. So I'm just gonna brush it a bit away here. I'm gonna drop the opacity of the brush here. So we still need to make sure it looks natural. So you can eventually also change the color here. Now, once you are done with brushing, this is way too light now. It's better to drop the opacities, let's say around 50%, maybe even less to still make this look natural. And now we can crop our image to make it fit. So we don't see all the stuff around it that we don't need like that. The final step I would do to this image is to give it also a little bit of a blur effect on the bottom. 
So for this, I could create a new layer and sample this color from the bottom here. Press OK. Let's increase the opacity a bit here and give it a bit of a blur on the, on the bottom. You can also do this part here. Once you have that blur, make it a bit darker, create a new layer and brush again. So we don't have one color, but a little bit of different colors in the bottom. And now you can just take these layers and maybe you want to move them around or stretch them out like that. This all depends on your photo. I would do something like this. You don't want to ruin the image too much with it. Just a bit of blurred out stuff at the bottom. Once you are satisfied with everything, you can play around with the settings of all these layers. So maybe you want a bit of less of this glow effect in the background. You can just drop this or increase this. Or if you want like really a lot of blur, you can apply the lens blur another time. Just at 100% and you can see here we get more of this background blur. There is one final step that you could do to make this look better. That is to go to the layer on top of everything. Press Command Alt Shift E to make a duplicated version of everything. Convert this to a smart object and go to filter, camera filter. And here you want to go to texture, drop the texture a bit, increase the clarity. So we make this image even more softer than it is. That maybe a bit more. And I would also apply some sharpening to this image. Get some nice details of everything. Like that, press OK. And that's pretty much it. There's another thing that you could do, and that is add a blur. Here is blur. And if you apply this blur, you even get that soft edge around the whole thing. So you can see here the difference it makes. Just make sure you don't ruin the face and the stuff in the center. Just around it like that. And here you can set the strength. Maybe you want it like this. Press OK. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you want to know how to export in the best possible quality for Instagram, check out this video. Till then, see you on the next one.